I'm Peter Coleman. I'm from Teachers College. I'm a, psych a psychology professor there and at the Climate School. Uh, and I study peaceful societies. You may wonder why. Because for 30 years, the United Nations, the international community have been trying to pivot from being just crisis management oriented to um, fulfill their mandate to sustain peace. But peaceful societies are rarely studied as such, right? Because why bother? Uh, when they are studied, we study just pieces, aspects of them, policy correlates to peace. So our approaches to sustaining peace and our metrics are flawed and biased and problematic. So this group has been working for about 10 years to take peaceful societies seriously. If you go to our website, you'll see that there's a map, a world map of many of the peaceful societies that exist today that you may not be aware of and what we call the peace systems. Um, our approach is outlined there. And there are things like this, which is a causal loop diagram mapping of the empirical science related to sustaining peace um, and a mathematical model that takes that map and allows you to interact with it as a game in order to see how it operates as a system. But what I want to talk about is a collaborative project that we've done where we're applying uh, uh, AI and data science methods to understand and track peace speech. So the UN and other groups use data science methods to predict violence, uh, and, and they will track uh, language from newspapers and from Twitter in order to understand spikes in violence, but we don't know how to track peaceful societies and how to predict when they change, when they move toward and away from peace. So what is the language of peace? This is a a, a, a collaboration between the Morton Deutsch Center, the Advanced Consortium, which is at the Climate School, and the Data Science Institute. We've been working on this for several years now. Um, there's a variety of students and colleagues involved in this. And basically what we've done is used the existing peace indices, the top five indices, to rank the top and bottom uh, in terms of peace uh, around the world. And then we scrape data from them. We actually got access to 900 million articles through LexisNexis over the past 10 years, uh, and it allows us to learn. So we apply machine learning and natural lang language processing to understand, are there linguistic differences in news accounts, news reporting from high peace and low peace societies? And we have found them. And they allow us to then classify. You can take an article from any of these newspapers and within 95% be able to classify what type of society it comes from. It's not the kind of content that you would think. These are the, lex the lexicons, an example of the lexicons that emerge. Peaceful society language tends to be looser, more creative and playful. Conflict societies are about order and state, right? And bureaucracy, usually. But th this language allows us to predict and rank societies accordingly. So it's giving us insight into some of the linguistic markers of peace and peaceful societies, allows us to develop new measures for tracking and predicting peacefulness, and get insight into reporting and how reporting uh, can be a driver of peace or conflict.